and welcome. Hey guys, just a uh, this is going to be a really short video uh, here tonight. It, uh, currently, right now, I am recording this, uh, and it is four o'clock in the morning, four a.m. And it's not that I can't sleep. Uh, I actually have had a lot of trouble sleeping lately because I have been pretty pretty excited about the uh, the future of uh, of helium here in Australia. But, uh, and of course, across the ditch and everywhere else for that matter. <laughs> but uh, the reason I'm up so late tonight and probably gibbering and slurring my words a little bit is that I have just been on the Helium DY community call. That is the call that's held, uh, I think it's once a month, uh, to bring the community up to date with the, uh, the, the latest news on Helium and talk about some new initiatives. Uh, on tonight's call, there was a very short snippet right at the very start where we identified uh, the HIP-19 approvals out of the last mock meeting. Uh, the Management Oversight Committee, I think that's what it's called anyway, the group of Helium that actually identify which uh, vendors, hotspot vendors, are going to be given the authority to produce hotspots. And of course, uh, we have been waiting patiently over here in Australia for uh, for one of our suppliers that uh, I've been talking about a lot just lately, and that's Linksdot. Uh, I've been um, talking about how that they were the, they were going to be coming along if they got over the hip 19. Well, the great news is, as of uh, probably only about an hour and a half ago, folks, Lynx Dot are good to go. Here we go. Lynx Dot is helium approved. Now, uh, I just wanted to quickly get this video out uh, tonight or this morning, uh, because in the, over the next 24 hours, I have been gathering little bits and pieces of information uh, from Eric. Uh, who is uh, the uh, the Linksdot uh, moderator or the, the company representative from Linksdot? Also from Adrian Adrian Direct, uh, the uh, the founder and manager of Linksdot. So between those two sources and a few others, I've been gleaning little bits and pieces of information. I've got a few things that I really would like to share so I can set everybody's level of expectation at the right level uh, of when you could potentially get the Linksdot hotspots here in your hands in Australia. Um, and I'll be uh, sharing more details with you uh, over the next 24 hours. But guys, I just wanted to let you know that right now, Linksdot is good to go. Uh, I also, on that call, I did actually raise uh, with the uh, DY community, and in fact, I've taken a recording of it, so I'll put it in the next video. Um, I, I, saw, I got the last, 60 seconds of the DY call was dedicated to myself, where I got an opportunity to basically just verbalize the fact that uh, you know, Helium, we're building a global worldwide network of IoT. Uh, and in fact, Australia has 20 hotspots. And of course, New Zealand, I think only has two, maybe three. Uh, it's very heavily stacked towards the US and Europe. I did verbalize tonight the fact that um, that you know, some more vendors for AU915 would help to balance the books. And of course, those other uh, frequency bands that uh, are not AU915, but they're the lesser used bands of which I'm not even entirely sure where they are, but th there's plenty of them around. Um, and one of the providers is ClodPi. Uh, ClodPi, I spoke to uh, spoke to the gentleman. I've now forgotten his name. Uh, I'll look it up and I'll put it into the next video. But uh, Claude Pi are also producing an AU 915 uh, band uh, heli a helium hotspot. Uh, they will probably be a little behind Linksdot because they still need to get Australian certification and the likes. Uh, but the difference with Claude Pi is the fact that they are not going to be openly distributing to the end user. They are looking for distributors. So I have no doubt that now that Claude Pi have been approved by Helium, that there will be uh, vendors, or rather uh, retail vendors, re retail suppliers, uh, distributors that actually approach them to be able to distribute their product. But the exciting bit is the fact that they do already, uh, their unit is, is programmed for Australia and uh, they are looking to get Australian certification. So uh, Linksdot, good to go. Claude Pie is is uh, is on the burner, ready to roll uh, a little bit further behind. Uh, guys, you know, thinking back to our other uh, hotspot providers, of course, uh, those of you who have ordered through Synchrobit, uh, your orders are allegedly meant to ship 
uh, beginning in September. I'd really be expecting October, guys, possibly even November. Don't want to be the bearer of bad news. Don't shoot the messenger, and I could be wrong, but I wouldn't anticipate you getting them in your hands here in Australia uh, anywhere before October, probably later. Uh, uh, Nebra, God, who knows, guys? I'm, I'm batch number four. I've got no idea when Nebra are going to ship. Apparently, they've got 17,000 hotspots ready to put onto a ship now and to start shipping to us. But I've been hearing that for a long time. So I guess when I have the units in my hand, I'll believe them. Of course, we've got Rack as well. Um, not taking orders, but big backlog. Uh, Bobcat. Bobcat were on the call. I did actually speak to, I'm not entirely sure of the, uh, the lady's name, uh, from, uh, from Bobcat. Uh, addressed the fact that AU 915 is, uh, is a big market. And she said that she's going to pay, take it back to her management and marketing team with the uh, with the hope of potentially getting Bobcat making some AU 915 units. So there you go, guys. This is a hot off the press just for tonight. This is like a really, really super quick call. Um, I will do a follow-up call in the next 24 hours where I'll put together uh, all the bits and pieces about how you order, when you can order, how much is it going to cost, when are you likely to get it here, uh, will you get in this batch or not? And I will get that done in the next 24 hours. So make sure you look out for the next YouTube video. So please smash up the like, hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Helium down under, guys. My name's Ian. Thanks for watching. See you soon.